वेलकम टू द ए पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर धृति रे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ म्यूजियोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैलकटा टूडे वील नो अबाउट म्यूजियोलॉजी हेरिटेज स्टडी एंड कल्चरल स्टडी इन इंडियन कल्चर इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो अबाउट द हेरिटेज एंड कल्चर दिस टू आर द बेसिक कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ एनी म्यूजियम एंड एज वेल एज Museology, because museology deals about the museum. So, in this topic, we'll know heritage as a component of museology, about the heritage study, culture as a component of museology, and cultural study. So, we I, we will focus on uh, heritage and cultural issues as a as. to major component of museology as museum deals with a collection preservation interpretation and service towards the development of society through its material and non material evidences to deal with various aspect of museum the subject museology is developed during the 20th century museology objectify heritage as an exhibit in a museum or museum like organization including monuments temples etc heritage includes both material and non material culture cultural studies includes history geography social science political science economics language literature mathematics astronomy astrology science technology medicine religion culture media entertainment and information technology and whatever thing which are associated with the human in their day to day life since the origin of human race the role of museology is to depict the culture in its different form establishing different kind of museum like few new emerging museums in the world museums on partitions in amritsar canadian museum of human rights in canada this kind of museums are evolving to exhibit the culture of the respective society the history of the society the special event of the society these are the different historical events or the important thing that happened with that society these museum are established with a scope to present the culture in its true context though museology heritage and culture are different vast of subject but all these three are interlinked with each other so in this module we will know about the heritage and culture and how these two important component of the vast fields are associated with the museum and with the subject of museology heritage and museology within this two museology is a study of museum as a key organization in the field of museum This study helps to museize heritage and culture in museum and preserve in situ as a living tradition. Museology enables understanding of all kinds of heritage in tangible and intangible forms and knowledge like evolution of man, early civilization and human's creation in different era and also association of man with nature in museum the knowledge about the heritage is disseminated through interpretation of inner message of the object and exhibit heritage on the other hand is the full range of our inherited tradition monuments objects and culture lenthal argues that in the realm of human experience we create heritage to most people heritage is therefore more important than history and is a product of human invention and creativity 
From the mid 1950s, the notion of heritage gradually incorporated all material evidences of man and his environment. Thus, folklore heritage, scientific heritage, and industrial heritage are gradually integrated into the concept of heritage. See the definition of heritage coined by Arpin in 2000, we will find all objects or groups of objects, material or intangible that are collectively recognized or appropriated for their value as evidence and historical memory and which merit being protected, preserved and enhanced. So, all natural or man-made goods and values, whether material or intangible, without restriction of time or space, be inherited. Heritage is a public goods. Its preservation must be assumed by the community. Heritage is broadly classified into cultural heritage and natural heritage. Cultural heritage is again we considered as a built heritage and intangible heritage. Built heritage includes monuments, sites, uh, temples and some loose movable objects. So these are the these are also the tangible heritage part of the tangible heritage in case of intangible heritage we consider folklore folk tales fables ballads which are the which all these are the man made culture or the man made heritage so cultural heritage we widely say as the heritage built by human race in case of natural or heritage, these are the uh, heritage made in the nature. So, natural heritage, we considered the uh, ecosystem, various our ecosystem, the component of various ecosystem, the flora, fauna. These are the part of natural heritage. So. We, in case of uh, natural heritage, in case of, as you see in uh, cultural heritage, which are the man-made, in case of the natural heritage, everything, every objects that are the, that are made in nature, by the nature. So, natural heritage is the gift of nature, may live in environment forming an ecosystem along with several biotic components associated with them. So these are also the part of natural heritage. Man share natural resources like rocks, minerals, water, coal, petroleum, gems, stones. So all these are the part of natural heritage. So in heritage part, these are the two major components which we deal in museum and in the subject of museology that is the cultural heritage and the natural heritage. Now come to the heritage study. So hope you understand what are the heritage, what are the different kinds of heritage and what, how it is related with the museum. Because all this heritage like cultural or natural heritage, we preserve all those in our museum in a systematic manner through a complete management procedure that is the part of museology. So in this way heritage is the main component of museum as well as museology. So to know or the study about the heritage we need to study it as a heritage studies and in this heritage studies we learn many things about the many aspects about the heritage issues. So heritage study is an interdisciplinary field of studies bringing together professional and academicians who explores how the past is used in the present. You will find Whatever you will see in museum, these are the component of our heritage, different object of our heritage. Uh, 
and how they how we use this object the heritage object in past and what we, we use what we inherited till today so it looks at the relationship between the people and tangible and intangible heritage to the use of social science research method while related to the discipline of history heritage conservation and historic preservation heritage studies are not necessarily concerned with the objective representation of the past so in heritage studies we need to learn apart from this and as you know the history is the raw fact of the past as atkinson and macleod show in 2000 st stated this while heritage is history process through mythology ideology nationalism local pride romantic ideas or just plain marketing so in this way we carried we studied we cultured our heritage in our different era and now we are preserving this heritage in form of a, of objectification in the museum and in heritage study we study all these aspects together according to unesco heritage study should include some mandatorily some aspects these are archaeology architectural conservation conservation heritage management heritage and tourism management history of arts manuscriptology and museology so these are the basic thing based on these subjects various type of heritage studies courses are designed in various universities within india and abroad also these are the basic subjects which are studied in the heritage studies heritage studies some uh, uh, basic subjects that are talk about uh, that are understanding about the heritage this uh, portion includes etymology the definition etymology means the origin of the or the concept or the definition or the nomenclature of the uh, the term heritage it also includes the concept of heritage in different countries historical development practices in preserving heritage in different historical period typology and different kind of heritage human relationship with the heritage so these are the component in what we study in understanding the concept of heritage so these are the primarily thing that is that are required to study in heritage study another sub, uh, paper in or the subject in heritage study is the tourism and heritage as you know tourism is completely depends upon the heritage issues so tourism and heritage we need to study in depthly in the heritage studies it is closely associated with uh, uh, heritage and includes the concept and historical development of tourism types tourism industry strategy mission and objectives major heritage sites its history and importance generating attractions transport accommodation refreshment shopping entertainments management conventions laws exhibition fairs tourism regulation these are the various aspect of tourism that is required to uh, associate with the heritage study and need to study in depthly in case of a uh, uh, heritage study we also need to know about the various laws and legislation and it's very much important to know the these laws 
to understand which are the heritage of a, our country or our society how significant they are this heritage how antique is the object what is the rules and regulation in dealing with this heritage so all these are required to know and we study with the help of study with the uh, study of the various laws and legislation that were formulated with the heritage within our country or various international laws associated with the heritage study. These are basically the Indian Treasure Trove Act 1878, the Ancient Monuments and Archaeological Sites and Remains Act 1958, the Antiquities and Art Treasure Act 1972, the Indian Museum Act 1961, and international laws governing cultural heritage, copyright, intellectual properties. These are very much important to uh, study to understand how visitors will deal or the people deal with this heritage, what are the rules and regulation in dealing with this heritage uh, uh, object or the sites. So what we keep in the museum, how we uh, uh, make the assess the importance of the heritage all we need uh, are based on this acts laws or legislation associated with the antiquities and art objects and heritage of our country museology is also the matter of study in heritage studies and most of the courses includes includes uh, about the how the heritage to be traced, knowledge, dissemination to common people, preservation and conservation technique, process of documentation and various modes of interpretation, how tangible and intangible heritage can be museolized and exhibited. So in museology and heritage, uh, museology as a subject we study to know how heritage can be objectified or musealized in a museum, how this heritage can be interpreted to the people, how this heritage can be designed for the, can be uh, formulated as a used in a educational program to aware people the mode of preservation and conservation. So these are the technical aspects in dealing heritage with the common people because museum is make a, makes a bridge between the heritage and the common people and these are the various technical aspects that those we uh, study in museology and to design, to explain, to, to interpret, to conserve and preserve in a museum. So in this way, Museology is an important subject in a heritage study. Heritage study, uh, in heritage study, uh, it is also required to know about the heritage management because management is an entire administrative procedure and it deals about the concept, planning, declaration of the site as a protected uh, area by national acts, declaration of world heritage site, uh, agencies, organization, marketing procedures like product development and service, natural and cultural attraction, festivals, religious tourism, market surveys, research and target market selection, promotion, advertising, publication, film, sales, marketing mix, all these are the things which we need to a study in a heritage management discipline and these are very much required to know complete about the heritage study because unless these issues heritage cannot be managed or cannot be properly uh, declared or properly uh, shared with the common people. Another big our important area of, uh, of study is the preservation and conservation. Heritage like the movable heritage which are kept inside the museum are um, taken care of by uh, museum itself. But the sites, monasteries, stupas, the built heritage 
especially are taken care of by archaeological surveys of india and various conservation institute situated in india or sometimes with the uh, international bodies we take help of the international bodies also so there are two important uh, organization in india uh, that look after the conservation of heritage conservation of built heritage these are the intact and nrlc and their technique and approaches are studied in the uh, heritage study course inside museum object are taken care of museum itself and are studied simultaneously so in this way these are the various issues that were dealt in the heritage study courses and it completes with this all these aspects of heritage and essential to know about it while studying heritage study as a uh, and it also comes uh, including the museological aspects now come to the culture and museum what is the difference between the culture and heritage we sometimes confused with the heritage and the culture and how the culture is a part of uh, is as uh, of museology and what the culture is actually and it can be defined and in this part we will know more about the culture and heritage and also understand how the culture and uh, heritage run parallelly and uh, uh, deal with the uh, and preserved inside the museum culture is entirely learned during our lifetime and associated with people living in a community it is the full range of learned behavior pattern and knowledge acquired by people as member of a community it is also the manifestation of human intellectual achievements in both arts and science culture as a component of museal is studied under museology to understand its genesis practice and its cessation or halt and conserve conversion into another new culture it is a continuous process and intangibly run intangibly the role of museology is to making history alive or the making this culture alive through the objectification and displaying it in the museum so this is the important job that museology plays in the culture it also helps to document the culture museize it for the knowledge of common people preserving it and to establish an authentic cause of genesis to stop misconception so this is the culture and its association with the museology technically culture is everything associated with human being since the origin and early civilization community formation society development religious practices belief traditions food habits livelihood discoveries etc which are intangible these are the cultural heritage and it is it can be defined as culture encompasses religion food what we wear how we wear it our language marriage music what we believe is right or wrong how we sit at the table how we greet visitors how we behave with loved one and a million other things so in this way you see the culture is many thing which are closely associated with our day to day life with our behavior and everything and the role of museology to me this culture alive how it can be alive making display proper display making developing exhibit develop objectification of this culture uh, using display aids models uh, that uh, intangibly uh, like the developing the uh, recordings or the uh, play or the ballets these are in in all sorts of uh, this uh, mode uh, museum uh, a museum display or present the culture to the visitors 
or the to the common people to make our culture a live generation of the after generation hope you understand what is culture now come to the cultural studies and let see what we study in this cultural studies and museology comes along with this cultural study it is a field of theoretically politically and empirically engaged cultural analysis it concentrates upon the political dynamics of contemporary culture its historical foundation defining traits conflict and contingencies researchers investigate how cultural practices could relate with the social phenomena ideology class nation ethnicity sexual orientation gender etc in cultural study view it is not as fixed bounded stable and discrete entities but rather as constantly interacting and changing set of practices and processes although distinct from the discipline of cultural anthropology and ethnic studies cultural studies contributed to each of the disciplines cultural studies was initially developed by british academics during 1950s and 70s subsequently taken up and transformed by scholars from many different disciplines around the world in cultural studies uh we learn many interdisciplinary subjects it covers ethnography sociology politics literature language history social sciences cultural aspect heritage many thing we cover in this cultural studies we also uh, focus on some communication studies economics art history criticism cultural studies courses at post graduate institute or universities generally includes uh, these subjects and frame uh, the course based on this available subjects now come to the component of cultural studies one by one cultural studies includes right from the proto historic and pre historic culture like the period of the time before written records myths that stretch back into prehistory includes cave dwelling men their art tools and early society this is the proto historic aspects of cultural studies it also includes and focuses on the beginning of the stone and metal age painted greyware culture black red ware culture cultural sequence in ganga plains archaeological cultures north eastern india culture technology economy agriculture copper hoards literature emergence of complexity in society etc it is the all about the aspects related with the early society that man lived in pre proto historic and pre historic time it also covers the vedic age or the harappan civilization here vedic society religion all this aspect we study in the cultural heritage it also includes cult architectural evidences artifacts society system stretches township religion trade economy language and the decline of harappa civilization and uh, actually it deals all about the cultural aspects of harappan civilization and the vedic age along with this cultural study also include the cultural social and religious heritage like social traditions varna jati ashrama system these are the early uh, societal structure that we live in lived in and it also include we starts uh, study of these aspects in this cultural studies religion and philosophy of different uh, religions like hinduism jainism buddhism and uh, later on sikhism ajivikas vaishnavism india has many religion uh, 
and in cultural uh, studies we have to study all these aspects all the religious aspects of different religion real life hypothetical field work are designed to provide students with a opportunity to know the subject practically and to know about the different cultural heritage practice of different cultural heritage it also includes evolution and the political idea you know when society developed since the our early the early ages with the society the political power the polity evolved in within our society so in the cultural study also in, it also includes the evolution of polity its formative period crystallization of perceived and ideas laws and legal institution concept of republic these are the various things which are associated with the cultural heritage and we need to study all this in the this course in the educational and scientific development portion within the cultural study it focus the uh, evolution of formal and social educational institution like we had gurukul system the ashrama concept and these are our age old educational culture so all these are studied while studying the cultural different cultural aspects important centers of learning in ancient period in the field of mathematics astronomy astrology architecture medicine surgery these are also the part of this course eminent personality we also study about the eminent personality um, of uh, like our mathematicians our astronomers our astrologers we have a long legendary history associated with them and these are also the part of this study in this regard we also study about the aryabhatta varaha mihir uh, shushrut and uh, aryabhatta chadaka so they ha we have uh, so many persons so many legends and their contribution uh, to our science and uh, culture history is tremendous, uh, tremendous so in this portion the educational and scientific development we includes all this aspect in this study in case of anthropology which is the very much essential component of this study we we study all about the right from the origin of man their prehistoric culture culture in different ages like uh, 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 paleolithic chalcolithic mesolithic uh, and different age stone age iron age copper age, copper age iron age sequentially we also study all these aspect the tools their um, their cave paintings their society early agricultural systems all falls under this aspects along with this the, we also study about the ethnic groups their culture their lifestyle their habitat uh, their society these are the different things that comes under this anthropology portion in case of epigraphy and numismatic as you know epigraphy it is the study of inscription and script we have so many inscription that we have recovered during our excavations and it is very much essential to decipher this uh, the script to know the history the culture of and of our past so in this portion it includes the origin and antiquity of different our ancient scripts like brahmi kharosthi harappan script several attempts were made to decipher it mauryan brahmi mauryan brahmi script and history of the decipherment gupta inscriptions so there are the so many things in the epigraphy se section that that are also the part of the, our cultural study and we study epigraphy in this cultural as a cultural element in case of numismatic it includes the coin as a source of history and the origin of antiquity and antiquity of coins technique of manufacturing ancient coins coin issued by several rulers so 
all these the earlier technique the technological de development and uh, uh, material development use of material uh, the several instructions several uh, images the iconographic uh, um, interpretation of coins so many things we study in the numismatic section in ethnic art and culture of india we study about the intangible heritage of our different ethnic groups it includes outline of eth uh, ethnology of india cultural distribution social customs rituals theatrical arts ballet storytelling forms puppetry shadow plays skit social satires wall and floor decorations tattoos like this there are so many thing associated with the day to day or daily life tradition rites and rituals all these are comes under the ethnic art and culture of india portion so in this way museology being the part of heritage studies and the cultural studies come close to each other and these three are the interrelated components it is the subject museology that deals with the heritage and culture of human being for the museization of evidence in terms of object in museum and for the knowledge of common people museology fosters objectification of heritage and culture and its preservation either in situ or in museum it is the interdisciplinary subject that combines the heritage studies and cultural studies as museal for its musealization through the museographical approaches researches are carried on in the field of heritage and culture to preserve it within the society so in this way these three subject the, the three major a uh, component are interlinked with each other and we and uh, studying one we need to cover rest of the others and all these are the integrated part of any museum because in museum we represent or exhibits heritage and culture through the through a maintaining a procedure that comes under the museology so in this way museology covers heritage studies and cultural studies so if you know more about the museology heritage study and the cultural study you need you go into the uh, website of epg parshala where you can get the detail about the this uh, presentation and uh, the text about the museology heritage study and cultural study thank you